Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ryan here doing a noise comparison for the Super Slim PlayStation 3 compared to the other two PS3s. Uh, we're going to see how the noise sounds when we're on the XMB, when we're playing a game, and how it holds up over time with heating up and stuff like that, and just handling the game and all that. Um, this is by no means a scientific study. Uh, I'm just pointing my camera at the PS3s and just letting them run and play as usual, and uh, just hoping the audio comes in as, as uh, best as it can. But uh, anyway, check it out, and I hope you find it useful. Alright, so going off of those results, we can kind of pretty much tell right off the bat from the truth that we found out. The uh, Super Slim PlayStation 3, because the disc tray is right up top and it's only covered by a small sheet of plastic, we can definitely hear the disc spinning and uh, it's definitely a little louder than the Slim PlayStation 3. But not necessarily too loud to the point where it's really annoying, like the fat PS3 when it uh, really starts to heat up only after about 30 or 40 minutes. But it's certainly not bad. Keeping in mind the Super Slim PS3 is still relatively new and I can't test to see if it degrades over time or anything like that, but out of the box and having it for a couple days since launch, uh, this is pretty much what it sounds like, just slightly louder because of the disc tray. Speaking from experience, I can certainly say the original Slim PlayStation 3 is definitely the quietest out of all of them. Uh, I've heavily used one ever since it came out in 2009, uh, played hours of games on it, I've played hours of Netflix on it, and it almost never even gets a little louder than what you saw in this video. Without a doubt, the winner of this noise test is going to the original Slim PlayStation 3. Thank you guys for watching, I hope this noise comparison helped, and be sure to subscribe for all things PlayStation.